My name is Mark De Cruz of Market Bonsai and today I'm going to tell you how to buy bonsai trees. The first thing that you need to ask is where is this bonsai going to be grown? Uh, is it going to be grown indoors? Is it going to be grown outdoors? Is it be going to be grown in a warm country? Or is it going to be in a cold country? You got to understand where the bonsai is going to be placed because depending on that you are then going to be able to select a suitable species for it. A tropical tree will grow indoors uh, so you have to under understand that while a tropical tree looks nice it's evergreen uh, this is an example of a tropical tree it's a ficus on the other hand we have uh, a Chinese elm which can grow indoors or outdoors it's a very versatile tree uh, perhaps one of the reasons why there's so many of them sold the Chinese elm um, very versatile uh, the, uh, the other good thing of, about it is uh, it's very easy to to look after. Uh, it can take um, a significant amount of forgetfulness. So if you do forget to water it, uh, you're not going to kill it straight away uh, kind of thing. Uh, some of the other trees are a lot less forgiving. You look for how vibrant the tree is, is looking. Here you can see there's a lot of uh, life in the, in the tree, the tree leaves are growing quite vigorously, there's a lot of colour in the leaf, and the tree uh, looks inviting and, and reassuring uh, to you. The other thing to look for to see is how well established the bonsai is in, in, the, in the pot. If it feels firm and strong in the pot, it's most, most probably well established in the pot. If you see roots coming in from the bottom of the of the tree of the pot, uh, you can see little fine hair root hair-like roots coming in. Thing, it's well established in the pot. It's been there for a while, and you can be sure that it's uh, it's nicely pot bound. Things to avoid uh, in bonsais are weak bonsais. Uh, this particular one was most probably not looked after too well in a garden centre, uh, and. Uh, well, it's an indoor tree that's uh, become rather leggy and weak and uh, it's, it's suffering. So it's definitely one to keep away from. Uh, this particular one, a banana tree that's not been watered or has been forgotten to be watered and, and it's lost a lot of its leaves. Uh, this particular tree um, is by its very nature a difficult tree uh, to keep. Uh, and as you can see, uh, it's it's fighting to stay alive uh, and these are the kind of trees that you should generally keep away from. Go for trees that are full of vigor, full of life and invite you into you know, having them in your home. Now that we've shortlisted a few trees and trees that we know are healthy and uh, are vibrant and well established in the pot and uh, you know are genuinely nice trees. We need to to see whether the tree itself looks appealing to us. So the tree uh, in in the bonsai world says talks to you, calls to you, you know, and it invites you and it says, "Hmm, take me home, take me home." Uh, trees that have small leaves rather than big, huge, uh, ginormous leaves. Trees that have lots of uh, branches. Trees that are good root structures, trees that have perhaps interesting roots if that's what you uh, you like, trees that have sensible branchings, well spaced out, uh, trees that have developed leaf pads. These are all the things that you would look for uh, in a bonsai. To sum up how to buy a bonsai, uh, you'd first establish where the bonsai is going to be, uh, the health of the bonsai tree, um, the aesthetics of the, the bonsai and finally bonsai traits like branching, fluffs and, and the roots. And that's how you would choose a bonsai.